folks well, welcome back to a new session uh, things have changed since the last session and now we're actually covering uh, not only cryptocurrencies but other uh, investment uh, products today we're going to speak about gold because there's been a lot of you know uh, action lately on gold gold has been losing a lot of its value compared to the peak the latest peak it reached around 2080 and now we're back in the 1820s uh, in the last two months, we've had a drop from 1950 uh, to uh, 1822, which is a considerable, for gold, I mean, it's a considerable drop of uh, almost 7%. Uh, so it's not negligible. Anyways, uh, what I want to say is that a lot of things impacting the gold basically is the rising interest rates, which is rising the yields on bonds, which is... Uh, making new uh, treasury bonds a lot more attractive for investors. So this actually impacts negatively stocks and gold. People are going to go and flock to buy new investment uh, treasury bonds with super high, with high yields. It's more attractive to them, especially that the, the dollar is, is gaining, is still gaining uh, power. Uh, so this makes gold a less attractive investment for corporate and, and investors and they're probably now selling to go and buy uh, high yield bonds. So this is what this drop is about. More than this, now this is on the kind of fundamental analysis or what you've been seeing. On a technical level, if you're into that, we are, we are seeing a triple peak. Triple peak usually means things are, uh, are about to go down. So the logical thing you can say is that it's going to find the next uh, uh, support. And if this is broken, it's going to go down. Uh, so if I take a span of a weekly span now instead of taking a, a monthly span, uh, this resistance level here, which was the actually which was the point of control, which so from 21 to 23 in the last uh, uh, in the last uh, uh, two years, that price here, that price back in the 2030s was the one at which most there was activity on gold, and it was broken, and now we're falling. To the and fighting here the next uh, not the highest volume so it's not gonna be difficult to break this support to, uh, if things continue to be hawkish hawkish on the central bank uh, level it's not impossible it's actually very plausible that's going to break and continue its fall to the next support level now I see a lot of activity here around these items so next support level is probably going to be in the 17 50 17 80 if this is not uh if if things don't reverse what can reverse it a shift from uh, to a dovish uh, uh, approach by the central bank okay uh, or a re return of a high inflation which doesn't seem plausible it seems like inflation is under control now so yeah not the best thing for people who are willing to buy gold now on the social uh aspect i'm starting to hear a lot of people who don't usually discuss investment who are not knowledgeable on finance just in a social gathering speaking oh i want to go and buy gold because it's cheap now it reminds me a lot of uh, how people started talking about bitcoin when bitcoin was still was still not known in 2017 and people were now going to go oh i'm gonna go and buy bitcoin now and about that time you knew it was actually uh, signaling that uh, the peak is reached the bubble is going to burst and things are going to go down from there because when people like you don't expect start hearing about that stuff, you know that, you know, you, you feel like, you know, okay, that's the end of the of the hike. Now it's about to go down. That's just a feeling I have usually, a feedback I get from my social gatherings. That's what I realize. So it seems like I have three factors telling me gold's about to go down. So that's what I'm expecting. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for uh, following. Please, if you find this information helpful, really helps me that you actually share the channel subscribe and like and that would be extremely nice of you thanks a lot and have a great day